Another really great way to create models is by lofting shapes together. If you look over here, we have this loft operation. And what we can do is take some splines and I'm going to take a few different sized and different shaped ones. So I'll take a rectangle and I'll put it over here and I'm going to grab, let's say a star and I'll just put it right there and I will grab a circle and I'll put it, this one guy here and I'm going to resize the circle. So let's go ahead and take the circle, scale them down like so. So we have three objects in this list and what we're going to do with our operation, once again called the loft, is we're going to have a skin stretch across the, these guys here. And we're going to get some really interesting results when we do that. So I'm going to add the loft into our scene. I'll click on the circle, hold down the shift key to grab the rest of these shapes and drag them until I see the downward facing arrow. And here we have a skin that's going from one shape, which is the circle all the way to the rectangle. Now, what I like about doing this is I can always rearrange these shapes by simply selecting them. So I'm going to grab the star and I'll move it all the way to the end. I'll grab the rectangle and move it in the middle and I'll grab the circle and I'll move it all the way over here. And you see, you can really create some very strange stuff. Now the order, as you see there is very important to have. So what you want to make sure you do is you want to keep the order in a fashion that makes sense. So you want to make sure that you go from one shape flawlessly into another. So you can make all kinds of things like tools. As you see here, this would be a drill bit. You can also loft similar objects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete all these. I will create three of the same shapes. So we'll have one star. I'll control drag on it to make another copy. And I'll scale this one down quite a bit. And I'm going to take this one again. And I'm going to control drag and I'll make this one larger again. And I'm going to once again, take all these guys and I'm going to put them back into the loft. And we have a really interesting shape again. So just imagine taking a sheet or some plastic and taking that plastic or sheet and stretching it from one shape onto another to create things that would be quite difficult to do otherwise. So if you were to use a box and try to bevel and extrude this shape, it could be done, but then again, you might be 100 years old by the time you're done. Now, something else is really important to remember is when you do this loft operation, try to be mindful of the order in which you create your shapes. All right, I typically like to keep everything in the exact order because if, as you saw earlier, if I move things around, things get a little funky. All right. And as always with things that you create inside of Cinema 4D, when it comes down to splines, we have the ability to work with those shapes. So if I go ahead and turn off the loft operation and I, let's say I want to manipulate the star, I can go ahead and take this star. Let me go ahead and turn it into geometry. And if I turn the loft back on and I grab, let's say a point here, you see that I can go ahead and bend this around and create all kinds of cool stuff here. All right, so like, like always, you have the ability to have a lot of flexibility and create things that'd be very difficult to do. Maybe the sails of a boat, maybe the bottom of a boat, you know, weapons, starships, all kinds of very organic things combined with inorganic shapes. All right, so once again, that is a look at how you can loft splines in conjunction with a loft subdivision surface.